Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this segment, we will study gastrointestinal smooth muscle, gastrointestinal motility, and hormonal control of gastrointestinal motility. Starting with gastrointestinal smooth muscle. Individual gastrointestinal smooth muscle is 200 to 500 micrometers in length and 2 to 10 micrometers in diameter. Smooth muscle fibers are arranged in the form of bundles. Each bundle contains 1000 parallel fibers. We know that in gastrointestinal tract there are two types of smooth muscles the longitudinal muscle and the circular muscle in longitudinal muscle layer bundles extend longitudinally down while in the circular muscle layer they extend circularly around the gut within each bundle muscle fibers are connected by channels these channels are called the gap junctions. Gap junctions allow movement of ions from one muscle cell to the next. Thus, each muscle layer functions as a sensation. Sensation actually refers to a group of animal cells in which cytoplasmic continuity is maintained. As each muscle fiber over here is connected to the next by gap junction, Cytoplasmic continuity is maintained. Therefore, muscle layers of gastrointestinal tract function as sensation. When an action potential, that is, when an impulse is elicited anywhere within the muscle mass, it generally travels in all directions. The distance that it travels depends on the excitability of the muscle. Sometimes it travels only a few millimeters. At other times it travels many centimeters or it may also travel the entire length and the entire breadth of the muscle. Smooth muscles that is both longitudinal as well as circular muscle are responsible for gastrointestinal motility. Gastrointestinal motility refers to the movement of ingested food through the gut for absorbing nutrients, water and electrolytes and for eliminating waste products. It has already been mentioned that gastrointestinal motility is mediated by contractile activity of smooth muscle cells that line the gastrointestinal wall. There are two types of gastrointestinal motility. The mixing movement and the propulsive movement. Mixing movement is also called segmentation. Rings of smooth muscles in gastrointestinal tract contract and relax. This contraction and relaxation create oscillating back and forth movement in the same place called mixing movement or segmentation. Such movement mixes food with digestive secretion. It also increases absorption efficiency. About 80% of contractions in the stomach are segmentation. These contractions are relatively weak and mixes ingested food with stomach secretion to form chyme. Segmentation also occur in small intestine. The other type of movement is the propulsive movement which is also known as peristalsis. The term peristalsis is derivative of two Greek words peri which means around and stalsis that means contraction. Peristalsis was first described by Ballas and Starling in 1899. It's the inherent property 
that is it is the by birth ability of many smooth muscles to undergo peristalsis in such moment rings of circular smooth muscle contract 2 to 3 cm behind food in oral direction and relaxes in front of it in the anal direction the usual stimulus for peristalsis is distension of the gut thus when food collects at any point in the gut the stretching stimulates the gut wall to contract this contractile ring then spreads along the gut tube the peristaltic movement occur in the presence of myenteric plexus of the enteric nervous system we have already studied that the gastrointestinal tract has a nervous system of its own called the enteric nervous system the enteric nervous system exists in the form of two plexus myenteric plexus and the submucosal plexus we have also studied that myenteric plexus is found between the longitudinal and the circular muscles so this myenteric plexus which is found between the longitudinal and the circular muscles control peristalsis therefore this nervous reflex which is under the control of myenteric plexus is termed as the myenteric reflex or the peristaltic reflex the peristaltic reflex plus the peristaltic movement of food from oral to anal direction is called law of the gut control of gastrointestinal activity is based on the volume as well as composition of food in gut lumen when food is ingested the gut wall distends this stretch stimulates mechanical receptors in the gut wall also digestion of carbohydrates proteins and lipids stimulate various chemical receptors in the gut wall these mechanical as well as chemical receptors send signal to the nerve plexus that in turn control peristalsis as well as segmentation these signals also control secretion of various substances like mucus and enzymes into the gut lumen hormonal control of gastrointestinal motility various hormones have excitatory or inhibitory effects on motility few of these hormones are discussed here gastrin the antrum of stomach has g cells that secrete gastrin gastrin is secreted in response to stimuli such as distension of the stomach the stretch of the stomach upon the entry of food stimulates gastric secretion the products of protein also stimulates gastric secretion the inner lining of stomach is called gastric mucosa the nerves of gastric mucosa releases gastrin releasing peptide the gastrin releasing peptide stimulates g cells to release gastrin gastrin stimulates parietal cells of the gastric gland to secrete gastric acid it also stimulates the growth of gastric mucosa cholecystokinin cholecystokinin is secreted by eye cells in mucosa of duodenum and jejunum the entry of fat fatty acids and monoglycerides into the small intestine stimulate eye cell to secrete cholecystokinin it has excitatory effect on gall bladder and inhibitory effect on stomach it strongly contracts the gall bladder releasing bile into the small intestine the bile in turn emulsifies fatty substances which are digested and absorbed the role of bile in emulsification and absorption of fat 
has already been discussed in the earlier lecture. It inhibits stomach contraction moderately. It slows emptying of food from stomach to give adequate time for fat digestion in the upper intestinal tract. 16. It was the first gastrointestinal hormone discovered. It is secreted by S cell in duodenal mucosa. When acidic gastric juice from stomach arrives small intestine, S cells in duodenum secrete secretin. Secretin promotes secretion of bicarbonate from pancreas, which in turn helps to neutralize acid in small intestine. Gastric inhibitory peptide. Gastric inhibitory peptide is secreted by mucosa of upper small intestine. When fatty acids and amino acids enter small intestine, gastric inhibitory peptide is released. It slows emptying of gastric content into the duodenum when the upper small intestine is already overloaded with food products. Motilin Motilin is secreted by upper duodenum during fasting. The only known function of motilin is to increase gastrointestinal motility. The ways of gastrointestinal motility are called interdigestive myoelectric complexes. Such waves move through stomach and small intestine every 90 minutes in fasted person. When food is ingested, such waves are inhibited by mechanisms that are not fully understood. 